Okay, I decided to add one more um, movie to our advanced preloader because, let's see here, when we click Control Enter, our movie shows up here. Okay, there's our movie. And I'm going to go to um, View, Download Settings, and set this to, I set this to DSL for my download settings. And now I'm going to click on uh, Simulate Download. By the way, I'm doing this in my Swift. This is my movie. This is my actual Flash movie I've just published by hitting Control Enter on my keyboard. And it has a little menu up here where you can simulate the download settings as if you were um, in a real situation where it's on the web, it's on a web server, and you only had a 56K modem or DSL or you had a T1 or whatnot. So I'm going to click uh, View Simulate Download. And we'll see here, here comes the website. You see it took a lot, and it starts at 66 and then starts um, loading. Okay, so the question is, uh, why does it start at 66, right? Why does it do that? Why at 66%? Why does it start at 0%? And I said in an earlier um, movie that I didn't really know why. Um, that's not actually the truth. I do kind of know why, and um, uh, let me explain it to you right now. And that is, the, the Flash movie loads in stages, uh, keyframe 1, keyframe 2, keyframe 5. So if you hit Control enter and you also go view, uh, let's see here, bandwidth profiler, you can see like when things are loading, all right? And you can see here that a lot of things are lo loading right here on keyframe one. This graph represents the different keyframes in the movie, and you see uh, most of the movie actually loads on keyframe one. Well, that's kind of weird. Why would it be doing that? Um, as you can see, most of our uh, movie is not on keyframe one. It's It's, you know, on keyframe one, all I've got is this um, little box here, right? That's all I have on keyframe one. So why is this whole movie loading on keyframe one? It makes very little sense, right? So, you know, how can we improve in this situation? Well, what, what happens is your stuff in the library will oftentimes load on keyframe one, especially if you have movie clips that you're loading with action script. In this case, we're not lo loading a lot of movie clips with action script, so, um, you know, we don't have a movie clips loading on keyframe one. Also, our components that we're using, like our UI scroll bar and things like that, those are loading also later in the movie, so it's not those. So what could it be, and, and, and why is this happening? Well, a um, couple of things I'm going to show you. I'll go to File, Publish Settings, and this is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting for you. Um, of course, you have your formats. Right now, I've got it set to Publish a Flash uh, file, Flash movie, and a HTML file. But if I also go to Flash here, See, I'm using Flash Player 9. The loading order is bottom up. I could always change that to top down, meaning I'm going to load my top keyframes, my top layers of my movie before I load my lower layers. And the other thing I can do is I can generate a size report for my movie. So that's kind of helpful, right? And I can click OK there, and then uh, File, Publish Settings. I'm going to go back there. And what I'm going to do is click um, Publish. OK. And I think I'll show you what I got going on here. Um, so now if I go to my classes here, and this is Flash Web Design 09, week 14, you'll see now I have a size report in my um, right next to my movie. Here's my website file, Flash file. There's my website movie. There's my HTML file. Here's a text file, and inside of it is a size report. And in the size report, it kind of gives you a breakdown of what's happening in your um, Flash movie, uh, frame by frame, how many bytes are loading on frame by frame. You'll see that actually on frame one, I have 138,000 bytes loading, right? And then you see that very few actually, or it's distributed through the rest of the movie, right? So actually more than half of my movie loads on keyframe one. Also, you can find out about how many fonts you're using, movie clips, um, shapes, all kinds of stuff. See, it shows that I'm using uh, Arial font and Sans Serif font, and uh, gives you uh, information on your JPEGs that you're using, that you're exporting in your movie. It's pretty cool. But here's the big trick that I've been wanting to show you, and that is I'm going to, um, back in Publish Settings, I'm going to go to Action Script version. There's Action Script 2.0, and then what I'm going to do is click on this Settings button. And in the Settings button, it says that we're exporting. Um, our classes, 
right? Export frame for classes. This is all of our action script classes, like the math class, or the movie clip class, or the sound class, or all those types of uh, built-in code that action script has, and it's all exporting in the first frame. So the majority of this download is happening because of that. So I'm going to change that to, like, let's say, frame uh, 3, and click OK, and then um, hit Publish again, click OK, I'm going to hit Control enter and play my movie and then I'll do view simulate download and you'll see that now my load bar loads at zero and you can see that on frame one here on my view bandwidth profiler frame one now has a lot less stuff loading um, frame three has the majority of the stuff loading which is actually just all action script and let's see if our movie still works it does Um, it's not finding my images because I have them in a different folder, but trust me, the movie does work. It's just I've got the stuff not all in the folder, and that's just the way that is. So um, uh, anyway, that helps. So that's how we did it. I used File, um, Publish Setting, and went to Action Script Settings, and I pushed my um, Action Script classes back to frame three so that my preloader could load before the action script classes and uh, it seems to help out um, on, on your preloader. Let's see here, show it one more time, view, simulate download, much better. All right.